Madam, the fleet is at your command. <laughs> Sit down, won't you? Thank you. <laughs> Sit down, Bob. Go ahead. <laughs> and as my uncle told me off, he said, Reggie, my boy, if you ever get to Spain, find the prettiest girl that you can and tell her... Tell her that you're the greatest liar that ever walked a deck. <laughs> oh, I love you. Cut your Reggie. <laughs> Tomorrow you'll be on the high seas and I'll be on my way back to London. We're just, uh, you know, ships that pass. Well, how can we pass? We're both going in the same direction. I'll alter my course. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ever seen Gibraltar? Big rock? Mm -hmm. You know, to see it out there in front of a red setting sun, 
still and calm. Gives you kind of a feeling of... Uh, I know. Confidence. Funny, but I have the same kind of feeling about you. Oh, that's a very pretty speech, Lieutenant Brown. But we're almost strangers. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, not at all. No, I have the feeling that I could trust you as, oh, almost anything. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> I'm a first-class judge of character. You seem to be a very trustful little boy. Not so little. 5'11 in my cashmere socks. <laughs> Reggie! Reggie! Yes! We must say goodbye. 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 I hope you have a pleasant voyage. Thank you. Oh, well, sir. Thank you, Mary, darling. Oh, me tell you fast, ready, sir. Oh, oh, shall I take them, sir? No, no, no. Get out. Yes, Hello, Romeo. Cold water won't help them. I say, number one's been kicking up an awful shine over that paint weapon, the gun turrets. Good heavens, I clean forgot. That paint Her weapon. address. Oh, I don't know what you were asking for. Send her a wire. Yes, but where? Where? Telegraphic address. Southern Rose is London. <laughs> Barcelona, Barcelona. Why you should want to go there of all places, singing and dancing like a common actress? He certainly didn't look like a brown brown. Are you listening to me, Mary? Yes, Mother. Ever since you've come back from that place, you've behaved like a little savage. Mary, you're not listening to me. Aren't I, Mother? Brown brown J R. Brown brown W H. The whole British Navy seems to be run by the Brown family. Look at that. <laughs> mother, you ought to change your photographer. Your mother's posted all amongst the divorces and the police court news on the middle page. Well, darling, you can hardly expect to get on the front page right off, can you? After all, you don't seem to realize the seriousness of this. No. Oh, mother, the case against Mr. Higgins would be settled tomorrow if only you'd marry his son. That poor lamb. It's a silly idea. No, it's a brainwave, Mary. He's a very nice boy. It isn't his fault that his father's a profiteering barbarian. Well, I'll not marry Bill Higgins. Let the case go on. I've already hinted that you feel kindly towards him. Oh, yes? Miss Estrella's here. Show her in. That dreadful woman. If it hadn't been for her, you'd never have gone on that mad escapade to Barcelona. Let me get away or I shall be rude to her. Mary, darling, I just heard you were back. Ah, oh, Mrs. Rowland, delighted to see you. Mary, darling, tell me everything. No, 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 don't tell me anything. I will tell you my news first. I am pasted all over London. What a success. Estrella, outside the theatre, in letters big like this. But tell me, why do you come back so soon? I get you a marvelous engagement in my beautiful Barcelona, and what happened? Tell me, Mary, were you a flop? Well, it depends what you call a flop. Tell me, Mary, would you marry a lord if you were me? Millions and millions, but not young. You wouldn't call 69 young. No. <laughs> then there's a sweetest medical student. But he always smells of chloroform. Oh, did I tell you? I am dancing in a moss. Oh, terribly mysterious, my dear. <laughs> and they all fall in love with me without seeing my face. It must be my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the others? Oh, this rather nice boy. Higgins. Now, he's... Not Bill Higgins. Does he smell of paint? Yes, the paint king's son. You must have heard of him. Yes, yes, yes. Or shall I marry a big fat Englishman with a red face who rides after a lot of foxes? Estrella, get engaged to the Higgins boy. But you haven't heard about the others yet. It doesn't matter a bit. The Higgins boy is the pick of the whole basket for you. Young and rich and everything. I think you are right. The pick of the whole basket. I can see the headline. Estrella, the world's greatest dancer, daughter of the world's greatest bullfighter, wed son of paint king. Don't make me a princess. <laughs> so long, darling. I must have missed my interest. Well, I'll come see you all. Oh, yes. Hope you're very good oh, yes. And don't forget, the Higgins boy is a pick of the... No, but listen to me, Mr. Higgins. You must never be afraid. 
I have killed 10,000 bulls, but we as fellows are never afraid. I show you what we do in the bull ring. Now, you be a bull. What, me? Yes, you try to kill me. Well, right? Charge, bull. Charge? No, 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 no. no. You must come at me like a bull waving his tail. That's a good idea. Just a minute. Tail. Tail. Ah, how about that? All right, eh? Very good. Now come at me very angry. Right. Ah, that's better. Again. Excuse me. Mr. Fellow, we'll be late. We as fellows are never late. We never disappoint our public. Papa! My daughter. Darling, I am so happy. Bill, I make you happy too. I marry you. You are the pick of the box. What box? Oh, no. I mean, basket. Yes, darling. I come to a decision that I love you. Hurrah! Now, don't change your mind again. I shan't. I must hurry, darling. It's very late. Mm. Hello? On the stage, please. Coming! Darling, you really mean it this time? You are going to marry me? I think I do love you, Bill. Boss, take me while I'm in the mood. My son, you are happy? Rather. Take her quick or you'll lose her. Get a special license. I know her. Yes, but my old man's right picking on me marrying a girl. I wouldn't have as a gift. You must say to your father, dear father, go to blazes. Yes, you don't know my old man. Why, it'd take months to talk him round. And he's just off to India to try his hand at tiger shooting. Tiger shooting from the back of an elephant presents difficulties to the amateur Nimrod. Now, what's a Nimrod? Something to do with a ramrod, I suppose. Until the novice is thoroughly accustomed to the motion of the elephant, he cannot hope to use his rifle with confidence. I'll try that. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, quicker, quicker, rock quicker. <laughs> Stop rocking! Choose. What should I do if the elephant makes me seasick? All right, another rehearsal tomorrow morning. Take Jumbo away. Mr. Hagen, I packed a hot water bottle and your fur coat. I hear the nights are very cold in the jungle. Any news, Mr. Bill? We will hear the young fool's car drive up in a minute. Your son's a dear boy, Mr. Higgins. I don't want to hear him call the young fool. Well, put your fingers near his ears. He is a young fool. Why, when I was his age, you never caught me hanging around stage doors unless I got a paintbrush in me hand. Hand? Oh, thank you. Ah, the stage. All young people are the same. Now, look at me. I don't believe it. What? That you were ever young. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was waited for by stage door johnnies, showered with flowers and chocolates. Mm, dandelions. <laughs> now, I don't want to hear about your early indiscretions. What I want to know is that my son Bill has decided to marry that Roland woman's daughter. That'll settle all her claims on my patents and I can sail away with an easy mind. That must be Bill. Oh, don't run around like an old hen. Where's your dignity? Oh, it's your nephew. Now, uh, which was the hat I selected? Uh, no, this doesn't feel like it. Uh, hello, Forrest. Hello, Mr. Reggie. Hello, Uncle. Hello, Reggie. <laughs> Expecting a heat wave? Uh, did you see anything of Bill in town? No, we only anchored this morning and I came straight off the ship. Uh, I wish my son was as punctual as you. <laughs> a bit of good news from the Admiralty. What is it? Well, uh, they've been experimenting with that fireproof paint of yours. And it's been approved. You play your cards right and Higgins' patent paint will cover every hull of the British fleet. <laughs> good. <laughs> not so good. Why not? Because the courts haven't yet decided that the patent really is mine. Oh. Bill, at last. Is he in a good temper? Why? I want to tell him I'm going to marry the Spanish girl. If only I can persuade him to see her, Don't I know everything. Don't tonight he'd smash the china. But I must. Well, I'll be praying for you. There's nothing more to be said. You've made up your mind to marry this foreign bit of fluff. What are you going to live on, her salary? But, Father... Oh, I suppose you'll tell me you'll get a job. I did when I was your age. Go on, marry your umbrella. Estrella, Father. She's wetter than an umbrella to me. Goodbye. All right. But I tell you, it's no good to... Don't argue with him now. He'll be biting the furniture no. in a minute. And there's something else I want to tell you. Oh, he's gone. 
Let him go. One of these days, I shall lose my temper with that lad. Poor Bill, he's heartbroken. I'm not going to stand by and see him made unhappy. He'll get over it. The old mule. Reggie, you'll drive me up to town tomorrow. Who says so? I say so. I oh. want to have a look at that Estrella girl. Oh, you do? Well, <laughs> well, it seems like a waste of petrol to me. I know Uncle. Poor old Bill, I'm afraid his love dream has gone on the rocks. <laughs> You look so sweet when you said, I will. Say it again. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Happy? Um, Don't forget to keep it a secret. Don't let your press agent put anything in the paper. Oh, no publicity, no cameramen, no reporters. I am the pink princess and the pink king does not come to my wedding. Is it that he's ashamed of me? I keep telling you, I went to see my father last night. And he's, uh, he's gone away. Well, why has he gone? I told you. Oh, of course I forgot. He is miles away in India shooting elephants. Oh, darling. He's your turn. Oh, no, oh, come along, Lottie. Oh, come along. I don't know what to say, I declare, but I wish good luck to the happy pair. Husband, the youthful things you'll see. I ought to know because I've had four. I see. That doesn't rhyme. No, but it's true. Now, <laughs> <laughs> me. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy, la la la. Girls, I'm sorry to break up the party. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. Can't we stand have another drink? No, 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 no. Oh, but darling, I don't go on until after the interval. I'm sorry, my dear, but I must have all of you in your dressing room before the half hour is called. Oh. And you too, Mrs. Stella. Darling, director, I am not going. Oh, what? Tomorrow, yes. Tonight, no. Come, be a good girl. You wouldn't disappoint your public. We never disappoint our public. Oh. up in half an hour, and the house will be packed. Dear. Darling, it's your duty to go. My duty is by my husband's side. I am not done saying good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you for a lovely time. dozens of times, and I know that dance backwards. Thank you very much, my dear, but they pay to see us fill a dance. In a mask? I never thought of that.
number one. Visitors aren't allowed in there. Boy, I worked in the theatre when you were just a dream in your mother's heart. Reggie, this way. Here it is. Wait for me. Mrs. Streller, my dear, I love the show. And your dance number, I simply had to buy a copy from the attendant. Directly you came on, I said. She's got personality, that girl. And now that I see you close, I know you're lovely and charming. Well, that's very nice of you, Mrs. Uh, Miss Florence. I've been on the stage, too, but you're too young to remember. But I know something about you. <laughs> Won't you sit down? Thank you so much. My Bill. I call him mine because I used to wash behind his ears. Bill Higgins wants to marry you. But yes, my sweet love, I know. He's forever talking about his Estrella. Wait a bit. This is going to be a little difficult. Now, my sweet child, I want you to come with us and show yourself to Bill's father, the old mule. Bill's cousin is outside and will drive us down. He'll bring you back tomorrow in time for the performance. But I couldn't possibly... Now, you... don't refuse. I hate to think what will happen to the poor boy if he marries against his father's wish. By the way, you do intend to marry him. But he's already... Oh, will you excuse me a minute? I must telephone. Certainly, dear, certainly. <laughs> Mary, old pal, you can't let me down now. Why, you're just the quiet, ladylike type my father would take to at first sight. What? When he returns from India? Why, that's months ahead, and he won't remember what you look like. Mary, it's only for 24 hours. You really are going? That's splendid of you. I say, if my cousin's there, don't spill anything to him. He won't understand. Now, you won't let me down. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to thank you. You're a pal. You're a blessed angel. You're a grandkid. Listen, you. My husband doesn't need any more experience. He's got a wife now. Miss Mary. Oh. Tell me. Are you a double-barreled brown with an E? Yes. I looked for you, you know. I bought every book that's ever been written on the Navy, and all I found were your ancestors. You, uh, you thought about me? Well, I didn't expect you to remember me. Oh, uh, look. <laughs> does, uh, does that look like forgetting? The perfume lasts. <laughs> what are you doing backstage? No, we, we came backstage to see Estrella. We? Yes. Well, you see, Miss Florence and myself. Oh, well, you see, Miss Florence was Bill's nurse when he was a little boy, and, oh dear, this is a long story, but anyhow, you see, Bill is my cousin, and he's very much in love with Estrella, and he wants to marry her. Bill is your cousin, and he wants to marry Estrella? Mm hmm I see. Do you remember a pretty little speech you made to me under a palm tree in Barcelona? Well, now, let me think. Um, oh, yes, of course I do. Oh, I remember very well, yes. I said to you, um, I said that I thought that you were the most charming, the most beautiful, bewildering, gorgeous, beautiful, divine. <laughs> no, 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 no. That must have been another girl under another palm tree. Me? Yes, you. Oh. I mean, uh, Gibraltar. Oh, about Gibraltar? Oh, yes, of course, I remember very well. Well, do you still have as much confidence in me as you have in the Big Rock? Well, uh, well, try me and find out. All right, I will. Whatever you see me do, or hear me say, within the next 24 hours, Keep mum, and trust me. Mm -hmm. Understand? No, but you can count on me just the same. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie! And in case your memory should need refreshing, I'll, um, hum, you know, da dee da dee mm -hmm. da 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 And in case that fails to jog your memory, you will not only be fed to the rats, but boiled in oil oh. as well. Oh. And their long, sharp, oh, white Oh, please! <laughs> Reggie! Oh, you've introduced yourself. Well, what do you think about Estrella? <laughs> Estrella? What on earth is she talking? See, um, bum, bum. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, of course, yes. It's all old charming, yes, beautiful. Yes, so look here, that means that you and Bill are... Miss Florence, I'm coming with you. Nothing in the world could stop me. 
Tell me, what does that ogre feed on? Raw meat? He wants to get used to the jungle atmosphere. So he's living on Indian curry just now. So that's what he likes? Oh, no. He says it takes the skin off the roof of his mouth. I serve it with chutney. Oh, well, I'll make it with peaches. Cheer up, Mr. Brown. This ought to be fun. Come on, let's go. <laughs> and another thing. I won't have you leaving your duties. Running off to London without my permission. Here, give me some more of them peaches. Right in the middle. You like it? The best curry you've ever made. I'm glad you're pleased. Did I say I was pleased? Here of you been feeding me on stinging nettles and red pepper for the last ten days? Why couldn't it have been like this before? Here, give me my serviette. Here's your napkin. When I ask for a serviette, I don't want a napkin. I'm not a baby in arms. <laughs> What's all this? Little celebration. Say, who rehearsed this show? She did, all night. Oh, I wonder what kept me awake. I thought it was cats. <laughs> Fine. Then you like the girl. Yes, and she's good too. Bill thinks the same. Bill? What's Bill? Oh, is that the umbrella woman? Yes, that's the girl. I wanted you to make her acquaintance before you sail. Oh, hmm. I see. Miss Estrella, please. <laughs> very good, very good, very fine. But you know, I'm not 50 yet. <laughs> <laughs> and where did you get all your paint pots and paint brushes from? Oh, my factory, I suppose, yes. Yes, <laughs> very nice, very nice. I'm glad you like me. Oh, yes, I like you, and <laughs> I like your curry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that man in armour, he could be my new trademark. Very clever. Very clever, here. Don't you think you can come here worming your way into my favour, Miss Umbrella? Here, here. You mind your own business. You'll, uh, pardon me, uh, When shall we expect you back, sir? I don't know. of yours? Yes. Pass me on the London Road with 60 miles an hour. That won't do, you know. Oh, well, pop around the back and have a glass of something. No, I'm on special duty. Got to keep my eyes open for a young woman who escaped from the Beechwood Sanatorium. Broke down a padded cell, I'm told. And she's a tartar. Well, I must go and hunt around. Now, don't forget, tell your young gent next time I shall report him. I'll mention it. I want you and Bill to be happy. You two lovebirds are going to be married within a month. That's nice. Yes. And I'm going to see him put the ring on your finger. By television, I suppose. What do you mean? Well, you'll be on the boat, won't you? I'm not going now. How can I go when my country calls me? I've got my election speech to prepare. I, you never know, I may be Prime Minister within two years. And besides, there's the wedding to fix up. I must be going. Why? Uh, I've got to go to London at once to see Bill. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't be in such a hurry to see Bill. I'll get him down and you can wait until the wedding, my girl. But I've no clothes. Don't, don't worry about that. I'll get half a dozen of the finest French dressmakers down here, you know. Model, model. <laughs> if I do a thing at all, I do it in a big way. Oh, please let me go. Don't you see this afternoon when the curtain goes up on the matinee? Estrella de Dutta must be there. And, well, business is business, as you say. And I can't very well break a contract with the London Olympic, can I? Please do try to understand that, the darling. Parker, get me the London Olympic Theatre. No, 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 but I can't do that, Mr. Higgins. She's billed and advertised in the press. She must appear. Now listen to me. Estrella is my star attraction. 
I can't take her out of the bill. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Well, if you care to send me a check for double that amount, I, uh, I think I can arrange it for you. Yes. I'll send the check on at once. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Yes. Is that you, Mr. Harvey? Estrella is out of the bill. Oh, tell them she's indisposed or something. Yes. And I say, Harvey, book some other act with some ginger in it. Mr. Higgins, I've come to say au revoir. Oh, little woman, you can't escape from me as easily as all that. But listen, I would like to tell you how I enjoyed that little show. But now, no, it, it was really... Big. You've got the makings of a big producer, you know. <laughs> and now, you came here to make a hit with me. And you've scored a bullseye. I like you. And I like you, Mr. Higgins. Oh, that belongs to me, if you please. The whole place belongs to you. You're staying. I fixed it so that you don't have to go. I feel like a fish on a hook. <laughs> You'd hardly guess what I've done. Mm -hmm. I've bought up your contract. You're out of the bill for good. The great Estrella will never appear at the Olympic Theater again. <laughs> Darling, I know it sounds silly, but I feel quite jealous of your public. In two hours, your little bride will be back with her darling pet. Now run along to the club and fetch me off to the matinee. Mm. Darling, yes? I just wanted to tell you I love you. Thank you. outside the theater. Oh! You see, I told you, you are finished. My poor darling. You leave my daughter's dressing room at once or I throw you out. You throw me out? <laughs> I'll pick you up like this and bump you down like this. Oh! And I pick you up so and throw you down so. Oh! I go now to the management. We'll soon see who is the star of this theater. Mrs. Treller. What is she doing here? Well, what are you doing here? I thought you were with your father-in-law. My father-in-law is in India, shooting liars. <laughs> well, he spoke to me on the telephone today, and I got his check in my pocket for agreeing to cancel your contract. Bill's father canceled my contract? There's something funny going on. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it at once. Bill told me his father was in India. I'll go and find your husband. No, I don't want ever to see that liar. I go to Mr. Higgins, and don't anyone try and stop me. Pardon me a second, will you? Outside, I want to talk to you. What is it? I'm in the middle of a rubber. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to give you a grand slam. No, really. Just a moment. What's the trouble? No trouble at all. I want to get married. Congratulations. Wait a minute. Yeah, listen. I've driven up to town at 60 miles an hour just to straighten this out with you. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind playing this hand? Pleasure. Outside. Come down here. Now, what's the idea? You've just spoiled the best hand I've had for years. I could kill you. Not in the club, old boy. The committee are frightfully strict. Don't make jokes. I'm serious. All right, let's come and sit down and talk it over quietly. Stand still. I love Estrella. Estrella? But you don't know now, her. Now, don't say that I'm not giving you fair warning, Bill. I adore her, and I want to marry her. When she came out of the manor house, I knew then that she was the only girl in the whole world. She's marvelous. And she's got the old man eating out of her hand. Has she? Yes, and for your miserable sake. But I warn you, I'm going to have her. Well, I'm not standing in your way. You mean that? Certainly. Oh, Bill. Oh, you're wonderful. Here, yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Here. Oh, <laughs> Bill! Bill! Excuse me. 
What is it? I have news for you. Yes? Estrella has gone to the castle of Mr. Higgins. Uh, what happened? Oh, she's very angry. She said you are a big liar. What? I have just left her dressing room. The tender lamb is so unhappy, she nearly killed the big woman in the pink tights. What? My Estrella? Your wife? She did not even wait to take her dress. Here, I must try and head her off. Did you say Estrella? His wife? Yes. What? When did this happen? Oh, it was a secret wedding. It was all arranged. Oh, all oh, the dirty, double-dealing, slimy little skunk. Mr. Speaker, one finds on statistical evidence that the authentic revelations are diabolically inconsistent with the idiosyncrasies of our explanative qualifications. In other words, the allegorical excavations of a bygone contraption are, or should be, dictographically corroborated by the quintessence of conciseness. I trust I am making myself clear. No interruptions, please. Ah, Esther! Where is Mr. Higgins? He is particularly busy at the moment, madam. Take me to him. Who are you, please? I am Estrella. Then I am the Empress of China. Oh! Can't you see? I am Estrella! Everyone is trying to drive me mad. Oh! Humor her, humor her. You don't need Yes, I do. This is the one the policeman warned us about. I'll get the governor. Don't leave me alone with her. Well, are you going to announce to me, yes or no? No. Uh, yes, madam, yes. Say, you miss Estrella. You understand? It's Australia, right, madam. Well, go on. I'll yes. go for help. No, you won't. You don't believe that I am Estrella. Oh! These people are driving me crazy! You play the piano. Yes. Come and play. And why? Because everybody is fighting everybody else. Everybody wants to fight. We want to stop all that, and I know the way to do it. First of all, we'll do away with firearms. <laughs> Secondly, we'll do away with trouser buttons. You ask why? Because no soldier could uphold the dignity of his country with one hand and his pants with the other. Let's sing our way through life. Let's be jolly. Let's have music. I love music, especially British music. <laughs> British music for the Britons. We Anglo-Saxons must have Anglo-Saxophones. What is all this row going on here? I, you know I hate music. A female for dancing in the hall says her name's Estrella. What? A policeman told me he was looking for a barman woman, so this is her, all right. What's she look like? A wildcat, sir. Oh? Why is she dancing in my hall? Oh, I don't know, sir. Perhaps to keep herself warm. She hasn't any clothes on. Oh, I must look into this. <laughs> I know who you are. The whole world knows who you are. And you are my father-in-law. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. How could I forget a little thing like that? But why am I told lies? Why are you in England and why do I find this cannibal creature in my dressing room? Now tell me all about it. Come along with me and we'll have a nice hot cup of tea and a cosy little chat. Oh, thank you. Do I go in here? Yes, you go in there and I'll go and see to the tea. Oh, you're a nice little man. I think I like you. <laughs> Nice girl. <coughs> Pity. <coughs> Mr. Higgins! Mr. Higgins! Mr. Higgins! Don't talk, Barmy. I tell you she's here under lock and key. Uh, if you're the superintendent, 
Don't talk like one of your own inmates. Captured the wrong woman. I've got the right one here. And, 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 and she's breaking up my home. Oh, it's you, Bill. Anything happened? I should say so. I had to play the piano. No, I've got cramp in my fingers. Yes, yes. Has anyone been? You don't know a wild, undressed female who behaves like a dancing dervish and frightened me out of me wits. Has my father seen her? Seen her? He's locked her in the yellow room. Oh, my gosh. Hold this. Pardon me, sir. Nobody can go in there. Master's orders. But I must go. You'll get me in trouble, sir. I'm going in. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mother, I am glad you're here. But you were so vague on the telephone, darling, and even now I don't understand. Oh, Mother, I'll explain everything. Have you brought the papers? Yes, there they are. Okay. The main plank in my platform is to have everything British. What do we want with a foreign office? Or what do we want with foreign policy? And now they talk about cultivating foreign relations. Why should we have foreign relations? Aren't some of our own bad enough? Please, Mrs. Rowland and Miss Rowland. Uh, show them in. This way, please. Mr. Higgins? Oh, uh, so you are the lady who's been dragging me through the courts. I don't know as I ought to talk to you without my lawyer being present. Uh, take a seat, will you, please? Nice place you have here, eh, Mary? Not bad. Uh, what can I do for you? You want to know why we're here? We wish to settle the case on a friendly basis. You haven't a leg to stand on. Now, don't talk like that or you'll make me angry. My case against you is pretty strong, and you know it. Here's my formal claim. 5,000 damages for illegal user, 10,000 compensation for loss. I know income. all that by heart. Now, what is your proposition? This. I hope you're happy. Are you satisfied, Mary? You can't do a thing like that. I, I can't take advantage of this. You know, your case is not so bad. Oh, darling, do you hear that? Oh, why did you insist? Can't we paste the pieces together? No, Mother. The case is ended. Mr. Higgins. So you're the Roland girl? Estrella? You must overlook the trick I played. Please try to understand, Mr. Higgins. You've been so kind. And I don't take part in bargains. So you and I are free and independent now. No advantage either side. I suppose not, my dear. <laughs> What about that bundle of dynamite I've got locked in that room? She's a good girl. And she's my friend. Oh, well. Then I'll let her out.